All right, day 112. 112 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. Put the camera on, we'll get going. All right. Different part of the neighborhood today. A little bit more of South Redondo. It's a some type of historic house or something I'm at. Morell House. I really don't know the history behind it. It looked like it's built in the 20s. I had to make a guess. Big surrounding porch. So I don't know. I'm sure it's probably not open today, but we'll see what see what it's about. Well, maybe I can look in the window a little bit. Wow. You got an old stand-up piano and a chimney. I don't know what the hours of it. The house looks like it's built in the 20s. Let's see, there's another one right next door to it. Historical museum. Let's see. That one just says about... refurbishing it and stuff rehabilitation it doesn't say anything I guess you'd have to get into it I don't know I don't know what this is either I'm gonna put corn in it or something I don't know let me know if you know what that is the house looked like it was built in the 20s if I had to make a guess but I really don't know I look in the windows a little bit more I had a stand-up piano in there Whoa, may even be older than the 20s. The stove, you see a stove. Could be turn of the century. I don't really know. It's a pretty big house. Let's walk up over here and look. I'm sure there's a find out the history of it pretty easily but I don't think this is a maybe the doors period I don't really know big wooden doors in there like a parlor well, you can't really see much on the camera like a little mud room right here it's kind of cool I don't know how much you can really see in there big door Opens from the dining room into the big, uh, into the parlor, I guess you would say. Let's see. I don't know. I can't figure out when it was built or anything. historic museum noon to three Wednesday Saturday and Sunday well today Sunday and it's between noon to three I don't believe it's open I don't think so no nope. it's noon to three though isn't it three maybe it's a little after three Maybe. I guess so. Yeah, I don't know much about it. I don't know if I, I guess I've driven by this before. Historical museum and the house next door. A lot of gorgeous roses here. A little walkway. I guess there was a fountain here at one time. I haven't started the timer yet, that's just as well. All right, I guess I'll start the timer. Go over here and look at this purple Ford Bronco. All right, take a guess how long I'll go, how long it'll take. Just walking around that house, there probably wouldn't have been much 
a Ford Bronco. Purple. Take a look at that. Old buses. This Ford Bronco. Purple. I don't think I've seen a purple one yet. I don't see a lot of purple cars. Purple mat. Finish. Good looking. Very purple. Bronco Sport. Alright, let's get going. Some old buses look like they're still in condition. Somebody's in them. Where do they live in? Wow. The whole phone set up and everything. Where do they live in those buses? Sure looks like it. Yeah, they got a bed in there and all kinds of stuff. Somebody's in the other one, too. VW from the turn of the century. neighborhood before. No. I don't know if we're gonna see a whole lot more. I don't know what we'll see. Write down the most interesting thing you see in this video at the end. It may be that house. Probably. It's kind of interesting. Look it was built in the 20s or the turn of the century. One of the two. I mean it is definitely a hundred years old. They had like uh, period fixtures in there. I guess maybe they closed at three. I think it must be after three. Just missed it. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look like it's gonna be a great place to walk, to be honest with you. Not a lot of houses. I guess I'll go up the next block. Maybe I'll hit this, look like some houses in the neighborhood over there. Pretty purple flowers here. All right, let me get across here. Just more I don't know, apartments or something up there. Let's see if we can get in a neighborhood and some houses and stuff. No, I don't think I've ever been down this street. I don't even know what this street is. Some doctors up, up on that hill. I've been there a few times for certain ailments. Nothing major. I think they have a e. Uh, what do they call it? A merge care place up there. Go down here and see what we see. Definitely, definitely a neighborhood here. So this would be cool. I've never been down this street. And there's another street here. So. We'll see. Looks like there's a bunch of houses. I didn't even know this dead ended. It's like a, like almost like a subdivision or something. Like a bike path or a, something down there, a walking path. What that is, just like a little sidewalk of some sort. Huh. Yeah. There we go. What a nice little neighborhood back here. 60s houses from the 60s. Look at that. Right, like a is that the bedroom up there? Unique. It's like a house from the Midwest. Brick. A brick house. Whole house is brick. That's then a brick chimney that's green. Man, yeah, you don't see that. Uh, boy, yeah, this is definitely from the 60s. What a great little street. Walk down that little cul de sac. 
that's so much of a I don't know just different very different nice nice houses I'll walk up through here walk down this little cul-de-sac very quiet another house with like a hole in the roof like that other one did that one must have been the same builder I guess maybe that was the architecture at the time build a hole in a hole in the roof and build like a fish you could walk out on that like a patio almost kind of unusual There's some fake grass I love the fake grass beautiful this is maybe that 70s I like it they got a lot of windows and beautiful there's a house with a three-car garage Wow and they still got a car outside maybe two and it's a lot of got some brick on it big bricks there's another brick house there's another brick house might have been in the 70s or something you just don't see any brick houses hardly ever there's a lot of brick houses and the builder was building brick houses at that time nice little cul-de-sac another two and a half car garage there not three I guess well we can get three cars in there I'd say so and they got a hole in the roof you should come out like a little patio up there they got a two and three car garage and that garage is then they got a hole in the roof that's some crazy and all these roofs are like the they're not tile roofs they're uh, I don't know what you call them but uh, more like a see now that's a tile roof and that's a not vinyl I can't think of tar it's a unique looking house too very interesting they said I've never been on this street before like a little Brady Bunch cul-de-sac or something leave it to Beaver it's very Midwest it's not beach like at all interesting and I'll have like two and three car garages a ranch it's kind of big it's like a this purple like a purple truck I just saw a purple uh, it's kind of purple purple Bronco that's like a purple tundra it's a big truck Oh, I must use that for work or something. Man, none of these houses are in the. <laughs> I don't think they're for, any of these houses are from this century. <laughs> Look, they got a hole in the roof. Everybody's got a hole in the roof. Whoa! Look at that. They got a whole balcony around their garage. Wow! Yeah, I feel like I've walked back into the 60s here, the 70s. A really nice neighborhood from the 70s. And there are no turn of the houses from the turn of the century. Some of these neighborhoods you'll see all of a sudden you see a house that looks like it's from the last five to ten years. Because they, they tore down one of the houses and built a new one, but not around here. These are all maintained. They're all period. It's like a period neighborhood all from the same period none of them have been like none of them golly there's a whole big street of them down there look at that I got them walked right into suburbia from the 1970s the wonder years like walked right into the wonder years sing me a song Try not to sing out of key. It's just like a, like like a, like a Wonder Years opening right down here. Wow! Like maple trees. It's like right out of the Midwest. That's unbelievable. 
walk down here again sometime. I'm gonna walk down here, I guess, today. Like I said, in a lot of these neighborhoods that are older, there'll be houses that'll, that are torn, torn down and uh, a brand new one's put up, but not here. They are all from the same period. Now they got solar on top of their roof though. That, that was not period. It's kind of a beachy color house now, but it's still period. And those, uh, the window design on the garages. Interesting. I already had a half a mile. I guess I'll turn around and come back. This is really unusual. I've never been down here before. This color scheme looks even period. Brown and beige. You don't see any houses that are brown anymore. It's an open house. Oh boy. Guess I'm gonna have to walk down here and see what's going on. That brown and beige and no, no window there. I got some fake grass. Very neat neighborhood. So many different types of neighborhoods just around me. It's not counting going to Venice or Santa Monica or Beverly Hills, all over Los Angeles. But this is just down here in the South Bay. There's so many different types. And Manhattan Beach, radically different. I guess we'll walk in here, it's open house. See what's going on. See what one of these houses looks like. See if it looks period inside. That'd be cool. I doubt it. Probably modernized. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I Hello, hello. Hello. Nineteen sixty nine. Hey, it's a little sitting room here, I guess. A little patio out there, a <laughs> dining room. Goodness gracious. Hi. Hi. I'm recording. Is that okay? Fine. Okay, great. Let's go around and look at different neighborhoods and stuff. I tell you, this neighborhood, I got all the... Little, nice little yard out here. Oh, that's a, I like that little tree. <laughs> Really nice kitchen. That's crazy. Uh, master bath. Smells nice. Out of the decor, even. Oh my God. 
chandelier. Where's the TV? Where's the TV? <laughs> They don't watch TV, huh? No. Wow. Are they the original owners? Uh, 1981. Gotcha. So close to it, but not quite. Yeah, I guess they're big readers or something, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a garage, huh? Sixty-nine, huh? Uh, yes. Uh, this is a sixty-nine seventy track. Yeah, I uh, I live not too far from here, actually. I've never been in this part of the neighborhood, but I tell you, it's just like time warp. So You're this is, uh, right into the seventies. Originally an all electric track. Uh, uh, all electric. And what what does that mean? No gas. Everything was electric. Oh, everything was electric. All yeah. Utilities are underground. Nice. No power lines. Yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood, and the interesting thing about this neighborhood is that a lot of times, you know, different parts of L.A., especially Manhattan Beach or Redondo, it's parts of Redondo, you walk down the street, and a lot of the houses might be track or 60s houses, and then all of a sudden you'll see one that's, you know, two-story, and here, that is not true. Well, this, this is track housing. <laughs> it is track, yeah, but yeah. I mean, they're not like those, uh, those ran like one-story ranch, two-bedroom, one, bedroom, one bath. These is a, This is like a really upscale oh, yeah. neighborhood from the so time, the, yeah. I live in a 2-1, you know, those were, mine was built in 27, 1927. Wow. So you get a lot of those, those older, yeah. early 1900, mid 1900s. Yeah. And those are some funky, you know, old school. Yeah, they can be beautiful though. Oh, my, yeah. You redone yours and everything. Plaster, huh? uh, plaster walls, cove ceilings. Oh, I bet it's gorgeous, huh? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really cool house. The, in Manhattan Beach? We're in South Redondo, right? Oh, there. South Redondo. Yeah. But this, like the next street, the street right over with the maple trees, I was thinking, man, this looks like straight out of the Wonder Years. Yeah. It's just like right, you'd like totally period everything. Oh yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's beautiful though. We're getting a lot of people that are updating. Uh huh. Um, they're buying the old homes and updating the interior, modernizing the interior, and then the last thing they'll do is do the exterior. Yeah, but it looks great. I mean, these are just like a like a really upscale, you know, late '60s, early '70s neighborhood. Super, super desirable neighborhood. Yeah, it's quiet. It's beautiful. Quiet. Uh, it's 15 years newer than the rest of the neighborhood, which is attractive to a lot of people. Yeah. If you remodel stuff, it's as new as you remodel it, so it doesn't, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people love, love this neighborhood. So what are they just downsizing or moving east out of the coast. area? Oh, moving to the East Coast. Oh gosh. I hope they know the they know the weather there. Grew up over there, family over there. I got you. And they've so, been here since '81, though. Gosh. Yeah, raised the family and then family left and they're following. Wow. You know, it. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, East Coast can be nice, but I can't deal we with need, the weather. We need people leaving. <laughs> we do. Yeah. yeah. We want to leave in homeowners with 3% rates on selling. 7% interest rates, man, it's insane. Yeah, it's double the monthly payment from like almost three years ago. That's a whole nother discussion, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me look around. Course, Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> well, that was really cool. That was interesting. I love this neighborhood. It's like walking right into a time warp. Let's see. I might have, oh, here's one of these trees. I love these trees. They look like uh, bows, like uh, red bows have tied on them. I, showed, I saw one of these about three weeks ago, but they're like little, almost like pine cones and they open up and they turn red. Look at that. How cool is that? Neat. Down Marine, there's, a, there's a, about 20 of these. But they're starting to get some green on them now. But uh, that's a really cool tree. I don't know the name of it. I walked down that street, but 
It doesn't look like there's any way back. Let's see, I walk down to this block and see. <laughs> it's so, good, so interesting that this looks like it's right out of a, the wonder years. And this is like a, time in our neighborhood <laughs> crazy even down there look at this this whole thing I guess I can walk down here and back up straight out of the 70s late 60s 70s that was 69 so I guess you know so interesting but let's like I said none of these houses have been torn down and rebuilt with stuff from the last <laughs> 40, 30 years. They're all like same period. So interesting. Uh-oh, no outlet. Well, I guess I don't know if I can get out if I go down there. I mean, a car can't, but maybe I can. I don't think so. <laughs> Look at these houses. Like, leave it to Beaver down there at the cul-de-sac. No, it's just a little, the cul-de-sac up on a cul-de-sac. So interesting. And the beautiful flowers on that one. I mean, none of these houses have been torn down and rebuilt with new ones. Maybe that one down there. I don't know. Got a big balcony up there, maybe. These, it's like a, it's a peak house. Salmon, pink, crazy. It's like we walked into a time warp. Very interesting. Even the decor in that house almost was period. I mean, I guess some of it, it seems, they said they moved in in 81, so did kind of look 80s-ish. So maybe not 70s. 70s had a little bit more crazier colors. This wind is unbelievable. It's gonna blow me away. Even the street signs look period. Look at the street signs. The street signs look like they haven't been updated since 69. I think I can get across over there. A very interesting neighborhood. Too bad there aren't a bunch of big old cars sitting in each driveway. That would be really cool. But I haven't seen one period car. All the cars are updated. Very disappointing. <laughs> so a bunch of 69 Camaros and sedans and station wagons. That would be interesting. Stand up this guy's sign. But no vintage cars. But all period houses. Super quiet neighborhood. Oh, uh, this thing make camera may kicked off because I went around that house and started the, the timer late. So I don't know. I have a part one and a part two, I guess. Let it roll. May have already kicked off. I walked around that house several minutes. I don't think I'm going to walk two miles, but I have a part one and a part two of the video, I guess. I'm going to walk down this street a little bit. This is the Wonder Years Street. I said, lend me, lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song. I will try not to sing out of key. And watch the 
several of those videos, reaction videos to that song yesterday. People didn't know who uh, Joe Cocker was, if you can believe it. And they were all astonished, of course. Look at this. It's all these maple trees, I think it, because it makes you feel like you're in the Midwest. And then all, <laughs> I don't know, it's just these one-story houses, look, period. It's like a, that house is definitely from the 60s. Ah, yeah, some beautiful landscaping here on this house. So interesting. Oh, it's a one house. I know this is a different house. Yeah, oh my gosh. A Brady Bunch house. Leave it to Beaver. It's just a, right out of the 60s. Crazy. Windy streets. A little bit bigger houses back there. Surprised I haven't seen any vintage cars. I'm gonna walk down here a little bit more and turn around. Got a big old patio up there on the second floor over the garage. Man, where's Kevin Arnold's house? <laughs> a really well-kept neighborhood for 60 years old super well-kept just beautiful so interesting it's like you've walked right into a time warp crazy there's another house with a hole in the roof. Man, you haven't seen one of those in 60 years. Can't believe there are nobody that has a vintage car in this neighborhood. You'd think somebody would have. I would expect it to be in pristine shape. It's these garage doors with the 60 style windows on them. Crazy. Yeah. Three car garage, two Teslas. Man, not that this isn't still an upscale neighborhood, but for the for the time it seemed like super upscale. Really, really nice. It's almost like a subdivision. 60s suburbia. 70s suburbia. I guess I'm gonna turn around here. Alright. If you guessed 1.10, 29 minutes and 15, 16 seconds. You are the winner. All right. Let's see what this car is. Start, start part two. It's going to be kind of a weird one. Because I don't know when it ended. I guess maybe it'll be end up part two. find out super quiet garage I don't know what that big green car is down there I guess I could walk down there and see it all right I'm cutting the video off if you like it give it a like subscribe so we're gonna walk down there and see what that green car is turn around and go home oh it's a dead end okay
put a link to a video you might like. Come back for part two. That's it.